orange and chocolate Chelsea buns. That's been in my mind of something that I wanted to veganize and today is the day. My new bookkeeper is coming. Such are the joys of owning your own business. In my experience, when you own a bakery, people are extremely disappointed when they meet you and you don't have baked goods. It comes with the territory. Anyways, I figured I'd do two things here at once. I would take care of making these baked goods for the bookkeeper while at the same time trying these Chelsea buns that I've been meaning to try out. Shall we get started? The first thing we're going to make is the actual dough. You can do this by hand, but I prefer to let the KitchenAid do the heavy lifting here. So in that bowl, you're gonna put some AP flour. You can find all the measurements for this recipe in the description below, by the way. And then on one side of the bowl, you're gonna drop some sugar and salt to balance things out. And on the opposite corner of the bowl, you're gonna put some instant yeast. Next, we're going to add some melted vegan butter. Make sure this is not scorching hot or it will kill the yeast. So I'd say 30 seconds in the microwave should be more than enough. And then some warm almond milk. Again, probably 30 seconds to one minute in the microwave should do it. If it's too hot, it will kill the yeast and you're not gonna get some buns. So now that I have everything in, turn the machine on with a dough hook and let it do its thing for about three to five minutes until we have a really rough dough. At this point, you're gonna stop the machine and add a little bit of orange essence and the zest of one orange. But don't get rid of that orange because you're gonna have to use it later. Now turn the machine back on and let it go for about five-ish minutes. And to know when the dough is done, you're gonna have to do a window pane test. To do that, you're just gonna grab a little piece of the dough and start stretching its sides. If it rips like mine did over here, you need to put it back and let the KitchenAid work the dough a little longer. Now, once your dough stretches out like this and forms a window pane, meaning you can see light through the dough like that, your dough is ready to go. At that point, you can take the dough out, spray that bowl with some vegetable spray, and just drop the dough right back in. You're gonna cover it with a towel or some cling film so the top doesn't get all crusty and gross. And then just leave that dough to proof for about one to two hours until it doubles in size. And while it does that, you can work on your filling. You're going to be on a stove top for this. So in a pan, you're gonna add some vegan butter, sugar, and some vegan chocolate chips. And on a medium low heat, just whisk everything together as it all melts so nothing burns. And once you have a full mixture, just add your cocoa powder and fold it in. Take your pan off the heat and you're done. Now in a bowl, you're gonna zest another orange and set both the orange and the zest aside for a minute. Again, don't throw that orange out. Just put it with that one from the top. And once your dough has doubled in size, it's time to assemble your buns. You're gonna lightly flour your surface, punch the air out of your dough, and then roll that dough into a rectangle using a rolling pin. The long side of the rectangle should be parallel to you. Then go ahead and spread that chocolate filling all over your rectangle and then sprinkle the orange zest on top of it. Now starting from the bottom of that rectangle, you're going to start rolling up your dough just like this. And once you have a full roll, turn the seam down and use a really sharp knife to cut roughly 10 equal slices. You can pull out a ruler if you want and be super exact about this, but honestly, I just got lazy and just eyeballed it. You can too. You just wanna make sure that you have roughly the same size for every piece so that they bake at the same rate. Next, you'll want to spray whatever pan you want to bake these in. You can use a muffin tin or a round tin. Since I made these close to Christmas, I decided to get creative and bake these in a flat pan and kind of place the rolls in the shape of a Christmas tree. It kind of worked. Now go ahead and preheat the oven to 325 Fahrenheit. And while the oven preheats, place your tray on top of the oven and cover it with a towel again. This will give your buns a little mini second proof to get them just extra fluffy and delicious. And once the oven is ready, put them in and bake them for between 12 to 17 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. You want them to have a slightly golden coloring around the edges and on top. And while they bake, you can make the glaze. This part is super easy. Just put some confectioner sugar in a bowl and grab those two oranges you hopefully did not throw away like I told you not to. And squeeze that juice onto the sugar and whisk it all together. Once your buns have cooled a little bit, Drizzle the glaze on top of them and sprinkle some chocolate chips on top just for that extra crunch. There you go. I cannot wait to eat these things. I am sure the bookkeeper will be very impressed. I will keep you posted on how that goes, but wish me luck. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you make this, 
please let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know how it was, how it went. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments too. I would love to answer them. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then hit that bell so you get notified every time I put a new video in here. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, stay curious. Thank you.